Let's take a look at my sky shed pot. It's a personal observation dome. So here it is. It's a backyard observatory for the amateur astronomer. And I'd like to give you a close-up look at it today. The sky shed pod is manufactured and shipped from Ontario, Canada. And when it arrived in these cardboard boxes, I was kind of surprised that there was no packing materials in the boxes. But there was no damage at all to any of the pieces, even though part of the dome was sticking out through the side of the box. This plastic is tough stuff. When you assemble your pod, it's a good idea to have some help. My daughter has the pod hat on, so she's in charge. My son was also here, which was a big help when it came time to lift and install the primary and secondary domes. Now, all the parts of the pod are made of plastic, and they're lightweight, but they're large and cumbersome. So take my word for it, you're going to want some help during assembly. Now this is the finished product. I like the way the dome opens. It's a clamshell design, and when you open it, you have a great view of the night sky. The dome is lightweight and it turns easily on the wheels that you install on the top of the wall. Opening and closing the dome is also easy, although it'll take a little practice to know where to lift and how to balance that dome so that you can gently lower it to the top of the wall. Now as you can see, the dome is comprised of two halves. Each has two pieces. This is the primary dome, piece number one, piece number two. And when you put them together, you're going to use a silicone caulk to seal between the two sections. The secondary dome is the one that pivots and slides underneath the primary dome. It's sealed with a rubber dome seal. You can order your pod with just straight walls, or you can add up to five of these bays. The bays really add a lot of storage space inside, and they also make the inside look a lot bigger. Let's take a look inside. From floor level, you can really see how much space those pods add. And there's our dome in the closed position. We have to have a way to secure the dome so that it can't be opened from the outside. And this knob is attached to a threaded rod which sticks through the sidewall and that threads into a nut that's built right into the dome. So after removing two of these lock knobs, you can open your dome. Here you can see how they engineered the wheels on the dome. There's wheels that run around the inside of the side walls, and that keeps the domes from blowing off the walls. And then there's wheels on top of the walls, and that's what the dome actually rides on. These new skate wheels make the dome spin really easily. I'm standing on the deck outside of the pod, and as we look inside, you can see that I have a card table that actually fits right into one of the bays. It makes a nice work surface for my computer. The diameter of that floor inside the pod measures about 80 inches. The walls are 4 feet high and the total height of the dome is 8 feet. I would say that the room inside my pod is just right. So there you go, a close up look at my new sky shed pod. I think I'll call it the Heavens Above Observatory. Good heavens. Here's a few of my pictures so far. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel, Tim Tools 99 I think the heavens above are just beautiful.